What's up you guys? CT back with another video and for today's video I'm going to be showing y'all all the products that I think you need to get during the Sephora VIB event and also we're going to be taking a peek inside my cart. Da, 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 da. Really talking about corporate and productivity and just how we're advancing our careers, how we're thinking about our careers as black women in corporate America. So hey girl, hey, we back with another video. This is part two of my Sephora VIB sale event recommendations. And we're gonna talk about today all the products that I have, I've been loving, I've been using, I've been telling y'all about, and I just kind of curated them in one single video. And we're also gonna go through my Sephora cart so you guys can see the stuff that I am thinking about purchasing during the event as well. So the products that I'm gonna show you today are products again that I have mentioned to you before you guys have probably seen me use them in tutorials but I think they're worth another mention just in case you've forgotten I will link some of my previous Sephora recommendations videos down below you guys know I do these videos every time Sephora has a sale and so I just thought I would add some of those products and curate them in this one like single list. Now this list is not exhaustive, right? We'd be sitting here all day if I wanted to just go through the Sephora website and tell you about products that I love. But these are products that, um, that have come either I've never stopped using or they've come back to me within recent months and I just want to mention them to you guys. So if you didn't know, Sephora has a VIB event twice a year, at least twice a year. I think the one time they had it three times. And um, if you are VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. If you are a VIB, you get 15% off. And if you are a Beauty Insider, you get 10% off. And you can sign up to be a Beauty Insider. It is all free and it is all tiered by how much money they get you to spend. So I will put all of the information for the event on the screen right here so you guys can check that out and start shopping on your respective days. I'll also link part one of my video so you guys can check that out as well and look at some other products. So let's start. I have one eyeshadow palette here. I don't wear eyeshadow very much anymore, you guys. I just... I just don't. Um, I, I have on my DIY lash extensions a lot and then before that I, I had on my regular, my real lash extensions and so when doing lash extensions I just don't find that I need to wear eyeshadow anymore so I don't wear it quite often. However, when I have been wearing eyeshadow I've been gravitating a lot toward this guy. This is the Patrick Ta for eyes major dimension eyeshadow palette and it comes with two cream shadows which I'm not gonna lie I've never used the cream shadows but then it comes with two four six eight ten powder shadows and five of them are shimmer and five of them are matte shades and they're so pigmented and so blendable the formula is very very soft there's also a second version of this palette that came out as well and it has some deeper shades I feel like I would prefer that version over this version if I was able to rebuy them all over again and I could see them both side by side. But I'm not going to purchase that one since I already have this one because this one is so beautiful. But I just want you to think about that and know that there's another version that came out. Okay, moving on from there, let's. This is going to be so random, but we'll go with perfumes. I have two perfumes here that obsessed like obsessed is not even the word I think I bought this perfume last November this is the commodity milk plus or is it milk plus commodity I still don't know how to say this but this is a unisex um perfume cologne however you want to put it you guys I went through this entire bottle I you know what that's what I should have said I first bought this last November went through the entire bottle and rebought it and now I am starting to get through the bottle um the second bottle and this stuff smells so good I've been really into unisex scents lately I normally not normally, I used to not like unisex scents because they smelled a little too manly for me, but I don't know. I've been really into them lately. I guess I've been tapping into my masculine energy. I don't know what's going on, but I've been really into them lately. And this one, oh, it just smells so good. To me, it just totes that line of masculine feminine really, really well. So it doesn't smell overly masculine and it doesn't feel overly feminine as well. And I... 
I just love the way it smells. It's a very bold scent. It's one of those scents that's going to stay on you all night or all day if you put it on during the day. But I like this like during the nighttime and it just oh, it smells so good. And the bottle is so heavy. This is like a luxe, luxe perfume, okay? So if you can get money off of it, because because they price it like a luxe perfume also. So if you can get money off of it, it's the time to do it. Another really expensive kind of luxe perfume, but smells so good, is the Kaoli Invite Only Amber 23. Oh, stop playing with me, y'all. I have like, I don't know, there's not a lot of this left. And I just realized this bottle was see-through. I thought it was like a just, I thought it was an opaque gold but I just realized this bottle was see-through. But I actually don't have much of this left. And I love it so much. I've been using it to death lately. I've also been mixing it with a lot of different things. And I find that mixing it works. This is a great mixing um, perfume. But all the Kaoli scents. I don't think I've smelled a Kaoli scent that I haven't loved. Like I have so many different different ones back here i usually try to get them in the minis because they're so expensive but i have so many different ones and i literally have not smelled one that i do not like so this has definitely been a favorite of mine i would check that out okay for skincare i have two products here first is the super goop every single face watery lotion this has spf 50 in it and i like using this if i know i'm gonna be outside all day i'll use this underneath my makeup or on its own just depends on it again if i'm gonna be outside all day if i'm gonna have on makeup or not and so this is very nice because for me it doesn't leave a white cast on my face and that is all always a concern of mine when I'm using SPF this does not leave a white cast for me the watery lotion and so I love using this I usually only use it on the face and neck not on the rest of the body I'll use a spray or something on the rest of the body but this is really good on the face and neck especially if you're going to put it underneath your makeup and then the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I've probably talked to you guys about this. I don't know. I've been talking to y'all about this for years. This is one of my favorite masks to use after travel because my skin just gets so dry. And I've been traveling a lot this year. And my skin just gets so dry after travel. And so I find myself gravitating toward this the most like the week or two after I'm done traveling and this really helps to get the moisture back in my skin make my skin look brighter again and just feel like itself I love 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 this mask and I repurchased it over and over and over and over again and I will continue to do so because this is just this mask makes my skin feel so good Okay, setting sprays. Let's try those. I have two here that I think are worth a look. Um, the first one, of course, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is one of those setting sprays that I put it on my makeup and I'm matte like all day you know I might have to touch up maybe six seven hours in but that's unheard of with my skin like that means my like my skin loves the products that I have on and so this is one of those products that if I'm having a really really long day between this one or the one size setting spray that you guys know I love this is um one of those two are what I would use but this one it's everything I felt like I talk about that one size a lot and you guys see me use it in a lot of vlogs so I didn't want to include it here but that's another really good setting spray <laughs> along with the benefit professional super setter this is a long lasting makeup setting spray and this is another one that is just going to prolong the wear of your makeup so if you're looking for something because your skin is just not keeping your makeup in place Voila. I only have one foundation that I want to mention. I mentioned some really good ones in part one, um, but this is the only foundation. This is the one that's, that's really been coming back to me and I've been gravitating toward more and more lately. And it's the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I'm in the shade 33.5Y. And I wanted to highlight this also because Sephora brand products are actually 30% off during the event. And this is for everyone, no matter what tier you're at. If you're VIB, VIB Rouge, Beauty Insider, Sephora brand products are 30% off 
off. So that is such a, an amazing deal that you're going to get. And Sephora brand products are just as good, if not better than any of the products that are in Sephora, no matter what brand. So if you're looking to really get some, some really luxe, good products at a more affordable price during this event, the Sephora brand, and it is a full range of products from powders to concealers, to foundations, to eyeshadows, to lip liners, I, like you, the full range of products Sephora brand has and it'll all be 30% off so I would check out everything Sephora brand there's not much in the Sephora brand that I don't love like I can't think of anything right now because the products are that good especially the brushes y'all so I just wanted to kind of throw that that out there but I do really love love that foundation now speaking of Sephora brand the powder this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Y'all know I love this powder because I ain't getting rid of this. It's broken and everything. Y'all, I'm using every little bit of this powder. I love this Micro Smooth Powder. Doesn't, doesn't have much coverage. It reminds me when everybody was obsessed with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, remember? These, this reminds me so much of that product. Not much coverage, but it's really just going to finish out the look for you and pull everything together. And that's what I love about this when I'm doing my no makeup makeup days when I'm just doing those days where I really just want a light wash of something on my face to even out my skin tone this is where I turn and I love this powder so much and it's inexpensive and it's 30 percent off all right I have a few more powders here now this is a powder this is so nice this is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder and this reminds me a lot of the Sephora powder however this one gives you just like a teensy bit more coverage still not that much more coverage this would still be considered a finishing powder more than a setting powder so it's in that same category that same family as that Sephora powder I just showed you as you can see there's a big hole in it so I love it and I have been using this so much more lately and it's, it's just such a good powder they have all the shades in minis too if I'm not mistaken so if you just want to try it you can get yourself a mini and then if you like, girl, if I'm going to put makeup on, I want it caked on. I want to see it. I want it to look like I got makeup on. I want it to be coverage. Baby, the one size turn up the base versatile foundation powder. So good. Everything from one size is really so good. But this is such a nice foundation powder. So it is a foundation, a medium to full coverage foundation so you can wear this on its own if you want to just do a powder foundation moment or you can set your liquid foundation with this that is what I do well I've done it both ways um I like wearing it both ways but I'm a liquid foundation girl for the most part there are sometimes I'll do a powder foundation routine but for the most part I'm a liquid foundation girl so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my liquid and then I'm gonna set my liquid with a full coverage foundation powder because I'm one of those if I'm, if I'm putting on the makeup I want you to see it I want to look like I got on the makeup I want to look the part right so that's where a powder like this would come in and this is such a nice powder especially if you have oily skin sticking with one size powders the translucent setting powder for under the eyes girl stop it girl stop it I use this under the eyes all the time I have the pink I have the honey and they are all favorites of mine my under eye looks smooth and just airbrushed and flawless and everything and I think this is work I don't care what type of skin you have I have I don't think I've heard anyone say they don't like this powder underneath the eyes so um girl and it comes in minis as well check it out all right I just have a few more products and then we're gonna get into my cart um, I have one primer. It's the Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Yes, girl. You need this. If you got oily skin, you need this. Now, if you have dry skin, run the other way. Stay far away from this one. However, if you have oily skin, you need this one in your life. It's going to keep you matte and your makeup is just going to look flawless all day. For concealers, I have two to show you. The... 
Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is in a skin tone for me. So this one's in the shade Maple. So I got this in order to use on my no makeup days. I can just do a quick five minute look with some concealer. And I love this concealer. It has the coverage. It's blendable. And it just feels really, really good and flexible on the skin. So I love that concealer. Along with this one, this is more for under my eyes. This is the Sephora brand Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This one is in the shade 30P, and again, this is for under the eyes. This is more of a brightening shade for me, but this is one of the most beautiful concealers at Sephora, and you will love it. I guarantee you. This is, this is one of the most beautiful concealers I've ever used, and I think you need to try it if you haven't. Merit Beauty. Merit Beauty is so freaking underrated let me tell you I don't know why they're so underrated because they don't have a full range of products but the products that they have are really good one of them being the um the Merit Beauty this is the highlighting balm in the shade Bounce and I use this pretty much every day and I use it because it gives like that little glossy kind of wet look on the skin just very beautiful it's not like a glittery highlighter but just something to give your skin a little sheen a little gloss on those high points of your face and I love to travel with this because like, I haven't been really into highlighting lately but this is one that I will use like every single day and it just gives my face like that zhuzh like that something extra right so we love her and if I am looking for a good highlighting moment, then I do go with my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Flaunt. Rare Beauty is another brand that I've just been obsessed with this year. I feel like when they first came out, I was like, I'm not really impressed, not seeing the hype. But ever since then, like since maybe earlier this year, late last year, everything Rare Beauty has done for me has been a hit, right? Just have loved everything. And, and so that's no different. Okay, let's talk through some lip products. I just have a few. I have this um, Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I think they have an entire entire gift set, like a holiday set, featuring the flavors. Like, there's like four different flavors of this. So if you're interested in a good lip balm, this is a really good one. They have different flavors, and I would check... I would check it out. My lips get so moisturized. With I love that so much. Um, the hour the hourglass, y'all. This is the vanishing phantom lip balm. I, I don't exactly know what it's called. It'll be linked in this video. This one's in the shade Trace, and this is the shade that I love. I also have the shade Haze, which I like as well. But this one, see, this is good for like those no makeup make those no makeup days, like today. I don't have no makeup. And I can just pop this on, give my lips a tiny wash of color. It's easy to put on. It looks good. Moisturizes my lips. It goes on top of a lot of lipsticks really well. Yeah, this is that girl. And then lastly, I have the Fenty... These are the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. They have come out with new shades. It started with five shades and they've come out with like, I think they come out with like five new ones. So I definitely have some of those in my cart, which you guys will see in a minute. But I mean, these Fenty lip shades are so nice. They're not super matte. They're not super stay in place. So you got to be careful with them. However, there are little tricks you can do to keep them in place, like putting setting spray on your lips or a translucent powder or something like that. And that helps keep them in place all day. But they're so, like, they're just velvety and flexible. And velvet is the best way to describe them. And so they're such beautiful formulas that I had to include it because I'm definitely getting more. Okay, next, let's take a look at my cart. I'm going to do a little screen share. I have my phone here. We're going to look in my cart and I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm thinking about getting. And... Yeah, this is the stuff I'm thinking about getting. So here, the first thing I have is this new, 
I, I think it's new, this perfume. I've never heard of this. It's called Boy Smells. And it, well, the brand is Boy Smells, but it's in the Cashmere Kush. It's an out day perfume. It is $98, so 20% off of that, you know. I might take advantage of that, but it's called Boy Smells and or it's called Cashmere Kush, I should say. I have not smelled it. This would definitely be a blind perfume buy, but I was so captivated with the name. I was like, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw it in my cart. Um, the Refi Red Collection Lip and Cheek Set. So if I click on that, this comes with, it's a limited edition box that includes a red lip sculpt, mini red lip gloss, and cherry cream blush. So you get your red all the way around on the lips and the cheeks. And I love Refi. You guys, Refi is one of those damn brands that have been really getting me lately with some of their products. Another one that they don't have a full range of products, but the ones that they have are really good. And I would definitely recommend you check them out, especially the brow pencil. Baby, it's on point. It's on point. Okay, um, the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. Didn't I just say I don't wear eyeshadow that much? I don't. And I really don't want to buy another eyeshadow palette, but this is so pretty. Look at all the pretty cool tones and Makeup by Mario does shadows so well. So this is definitely, I'm thinking about it, right? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm gonna pull the trigger, but I'm thinking about it. It's very, very gorgeous though. You get, what, 12 shades there? 12 like neutral cool tone shades. Some of those shades, the reason I'm I'm hesitant though, because some of those shades just look super light skin for you, girl. Like, I mean, it just looks, a lot of those shades, like the top left, they, they just look really light skin. And I don't know if I'm gonna get my full money's worth. So we just gotta see, we gotta pray on that one. The next product I know I'm getting, and that is the Fenty Skin Plush Puddings Intensive Recovery Lip Mask Duo. So you guys know how much I love the Fenty Beauty Lip Mask. I actually had it on my lips today. It's right here. But this comes with a duo. So they came out with a new flavor. And so you get the original and you get the new flavor for $34. Yes, ma'am. I'll be getting that as soon as the sale hits. So, so excited about that. That is my absolute favorite lip mask. The Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Whipped Clay Pore Detox Face Mask in Mint Chocolate Chip. Yes, ma'am. I love this. If you guys saw my recent empties, this Cookies and Clean mask was in my empties. My skin felt so good every time I used it. I used up every bit of it and I've been wanting to repurchase it and so this is the perfect time to do so and they came out with a new mint chocolate chip edition so that's the one that I want. I have another mini Kayali perfume in there. This is the Oudgasm Vanilla Oud. I have been liking Oud perfumes lately. I've been liking that smell. So this would be another blind perfume buy, but in this case, there's a mini, so that's a lot better. So if I don't like it, it's cool. It's in a mini. I didn't spend the full amount of money for it. I told y'all I had more of the Fenty lip colors in my cart. So this one is in the shade Wicked Wine, but look at all the new colors that they have now. So they now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they actually added six new colors to this um, velvet lipstick line, and I'm here for it. Okay, next is the Makeup Forever Mini Artist Color Lip and Eye Pencil Liner Set. So I have been wanting a black lip liner. I have one from NYX, but it's just not, I don't know, it don't give what it needs to give for me. I feel like it's not bold enough, it's just not dark enough, and I've been wanting to do some lip combinations, so... Um, this Makeup Forever, I heard these lip liners are really, really good. So this is a five pack. It comes with five mini. So I figured I would just get all five. Um, for the price, I might as well versus buying one. Like KVD Beauty has a good black lip liner, I heard. But it's $22. So I'm like, if I'm going to spend $22 for one lip liner, I can spend $35 minus 20% and I can get five of them. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, the Fenty Skin Cherry Dub Retexturizing Face Plus Body Scrub Duo. So I love the Fenty Skin Body Scrub. I have it upstairs. I think I'm on like my, I think that's my second bottle of it. And so 
I'm gonna get the Cherry Dub now, and this one comes with the face scrub as well. And I love me a good face scrub, y'all. Love me a good face scrub. So, and I love Fenty Skin. So we're grabbing that. Um, another thing that's in my cart, the Touchland Power Mist Hydrating Hand Sanitizer Top 5 Set. These are my favorite hand sanitizers, and I think everyone needs them in their purse. What makes these different from other hand sanitizers is that they are moisturizing. Anytime I use a hand sanitizer, it's so drying on my hands. It sucks. My hands just feel, ugh, they feel all tight and dry, and I hate that. These are so moisturizing and I don't have to put on lotion after I use them. So really cool. I love these hand sanitizers and yeah, just, just love these hand sanitizers to death. So this is a five pack for $45, which I mean, I don't know about spending $45 on hand sanitizers. However, I mean, it is a five pack. So, and I will be repurchasing them. So there's that. Um, the last few products in my cart, I have the Mini Dew Blush Trio Set from Say. I don't need any more liquid blushes. I really don't. But, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. You get three different colors for $30. Only thing is... That, um, like, orangish color, I don't know if that's going to show up on my skin really well. So then it would be, like, two colors for $30, and I don't know. Well, it really would be $24. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll think on that. We'll pray on that one. And then, last but not least, oh, well, I have another Fenty Beauty um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I have the one in Fireproof in my cart. And then I also have the Sephora Collection Velour Makeup Face Puff. I already have like two of those, which here's one actually sitting right here. But I think these are such good face puffs. I don't feel like I can have enough. So I'm just going to get maybe one or two more of those while I can get a couple dollars off. So you guys, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to do my Sephora event haul. I cannot wait to see what products I actually get and what products actually show up at my door. If I missed any good recommendations and you guys think we should know about them, let us all know down below. Let us know in the, not the description box, in the comment section and we will, yeah, let's chat about it because if I missed any, girl, I need to know. So let me know. <laughs> if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love and support and I will see you in the next video. Bye!